Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. What is the fun if only Python developers get to make AI applications for the future using OpenAI, large language models? If only Python developers get to make it, one, it is not going to democratize AI. Not everybody in the world can use it because it's not only Python developers who make software applications. So today we are going to see two interesting and also completely new libraries that can help you build a full stack large language model based AI application using JavaScript TypeScript. And I'm going to introduce these two libraries. We're going to see what it can do very briefly. I'm not a JavaScript developer, so I'm going to use my very basic JavaScript knowledge with the extensive knowledge that I've got in AI. And then I'm going to show you what all things you can do. And these are the two libraries. The first one is called prompt table. And the second one is called langchain.js. Langchain is quite a popular library already in the Python world if you want to develop a large language model based application. But now today they have extended this Langchain, which used to be a Python library only to the JavaScript world as well. So today, if you are a JavaScript developer, if you are a TypeScript developer, you've got two beautiful libraries that you can use leverage to build AI applications using large language models like OpenAI GPT-3. So let's get right into it and then see what is that library can do. Let's start with prompt table. So now what is prompt table? It says like you can build full stack AI applications in TypeScript and JavaScript. So what is that library going to do? So prompt table is a library that can enable you build powerful AI applications using large language models and embeddings. Now, what is a large language model? A large language model, when you have got a lot of text, uh, you have to somehow figure out what is happening with the text. That's when you build a machine learning model or a deep learning model that captures all the knowledge inside the language, like the corpus, text corpus. When this thing that is like combining all the knowledge from the text and then building something that's called language model. Now, when this language model is small, like currently people call it language model. I mean, there is also a viral tweet. What do you do when it's a small language model? For now, let's call it a language model. But when let's say this language model has got millions of parameters, like 100 million parameters, 200 million parameters, 1 billion parameter, then that is when we call it a large language model LLM. So now this is LLM. Now, what is an embedding? An embedding is the text that human beings write, a natural language text. Now, it's it could be in English, it could be in any other language. Now, you take the text and then take some mathematical representation of the text in such a way that this can be fed into the model training process when you are going to build the model completely from scratch. Or it is also used when you have already have a model and then you want to get the input from human beings, um, the English text, and then process it with the model. So then again, you need to do some, um, you know, use that embedding and then do some encoding and then use it with the large language model. So what this library is going to do, prompt table is going to help you build AI applications with large language model and also with embeddings from providers such as OpenAI is one of the leading or model provider, a hugging face, go here. Um, Anthropic, so Anthropic has not done anything like in open source, they've just mentioned it, but Hugging Face has got its um, bunch of models available in the model hub. Cohere has got its own model and OpenAI, of course, everybody knows ChatGPT, GPT-3. So now it's going to make it easier and extensible for you to use their existing APIs and uh, build tools together with LLM so that you don't have to struggle. Now, um, like while you are building an LLM application, it's a, like because you're building a full stack application, there are certain things that you need. For example, you need a place where you can store data, like data sources or uh, databases. Sometimes you need to collect data. So you need data sources, you need web hooks. Um, sometimes you need uh, APIs. So all these things are available within prompt table for you to do, or at least their vision is that. Now going forward, like what kind of things that you can build? Like we keep on saying AI based, like what kind of AI application you can build? So you can have conversational bot very similar like chat GPT using GPT uh, 3.5. It's called text DaVinci 002, 003. So you can use that model and then build your own chat GPT clone. Not exactly the same, but slightly closer. You can build question and answering bots like internet is full of these question and answering bot where, for example, you could have given like a very famous podcast that you like. Let's say, let's say Joe Rogan podcast, like you've got like the entire Joe Rogan podcast as a bot. Now you can ask question and then it can answer back 
from that podcast like it's called semantic search you can build a question and answering bot based on semantic search or, or the content that it has got you can create uh, copywriting applications or writing applications email writing assistant you can like i said you can build semantic semantic search application there are a lot of other things like personal assistant you can do now if you're a javascript developer you want to get started there are a bunch of links where you can immediately get started like you can click the starter kits and then that will take you to some examples that they've already built like for example if you look at this one you can see how uh, somebody asks a question and then you get the answer so you can see this thing so if you want to build all these things they've already got you covered uh, so that it's very easy for you to get started how to install it it's quite simple all you have to do is npm i promptable and then you have to do certain environment variable things or like authentication like open a or api key and all those things i'm going to stop promptable here and then we are going to move into the next library which is langchain.js now langchain has got its own name in the llm world already especially like i said python users have been using langchain uh, at least in the recent past uh, there is a huge interest in langchain like i i started exploring it probably like a couple of weeks back um, a lot of people have been asking me to make more Langchain videos like I got sick last week so I couldn't do anything but yeah Langchain is a very interesting uh, Python library or at least like used to be only Python library and now today we have got Langchain.js and uh, you can see what is Langchain.js can do it can help you again build the same thing like it's it's basically like what Prom Promptable can do it can do Langchain has got certain things like uh, it has got its own nuances like for example prompt chain agents so these are certain things that they've got um if you are interested i can make a separate video about explaining like what are the different things like what is a prompt what is a chain what is an agent but for now langchain helps you easily build ai based application once again using models that are available in hugging face model hub open ai and all these things now the most important thing again here is that you have got some examples you can literally go inside the examples folder and then start uh start playing with examples that you have got they have got also a chat bot uh, kind of application like a next js based i think next js probably yeah maybe i'm wrong a javascript based application let's say uh, where you can build a chat bot using langchain.js that's already available which you can try out like if you're a javascript developer and it's like it's simple very simple to install yarn add langchain and then you can start importing it so overall, we have covered two mod, uh, two libraries, new libraries for JavaScript, promptable.js, langchain.js. I think more than covering these two libraries, the important message that I, like for me, at least personally, that I'm taking it is this world is not going to be only the Python world. If you see typical data science, typical machine learning libraries, most of them are concentrated around only uh, Python you know visualization library there is there is some good visualization library in javascript world but you know people are not using it for data analysis but unlike that now the ai revolution or ai democratization is going to happen across the board like across all languages all developers and i i think it's a good thing i think it's a good thing for everybody who is interested in this stuff everybody who is practicing this stuff and um it, it looks like it's going to be a brighter future so the only catch here is that these two libraries do not encourage you to build production level application as of now until you reach out to them for example langchain you can fill out this form and then reach out to them if you want to build production level application same thing with prompt promptable like they don't encourage you to build production level application at least but i think the early start will give you a really good head start before every other javascript developer gets onboarded and then start making ai based application so at least like from that sense i believe that this video will help you in learning that there are two new libraries javascript libraries that can help you build ai based full stack application using large language models like openai gpt3 hugging face model hub um, cohere ai all these things so if you want to do any of those things i would link these two links in the youtube description definitely check it out should be like if you're a javascript developer it should be quite easy to start also if you've got any other uh, feedback or uh, comment on uh, on the content or like what you would like to see next please let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope this video was helpful to you thank you so much for watching see you in the next video peace